Hi, thanks for watching my video. I made a video a long time ago about how to animate the BeamMG dummy, and apparently people are having a lot of problems with it, and that's if I could just go over it again. So I might go back and delete that video. The old, old, it's, the video's got to be like a year old. So I'm going to make an updated one. This is the original BeamMG dummy, and you cannot import the dummy in itself in the Mixamo and animate it because of the gap right here. Be uh, Mixamo doesn't see that the hand is attached and it will give you an error. <clears throat> so my friend Terry Martin just went into a uh, blender and just moved that hand up and made it one unit and uh, that way you can import it into Mixamo and animate it. And I'm gonna put a link to this animated dummy or the dummy down in the description you can download it and put it in a Mixamo <clears throat> and animate it any way you want. So let me show you how to do that. So here we are in Mixamo. Let's uh, refresh this get that animation moving. So let's go to animations. Actually first let's just get our, our character over here, our dummy first. So where did I put my My dummy is on my G drive, I believe. No, I don't think it is. I think it's on D. Dummy, right here. That's the DAE, which you edit in um, Blender, and then I exported it as an FBX. So this dummy, this FBX, and a zip file is what I'm gonna put in the description of this video. So, I have dual monitors, so I'm just gonna drag that over there, and we're gonna go to Upload Character, and we're just going to grab the FBX file and drag it over there and drop it in a zipped format. Do not unzip it. I think it'll work if you unzip it, but since I'm using it here as a zip file, I would recommend that you just drag it over here as a zip file. And there's the dummy. And you just click Next and go through this little process here. Chin. And you can see, if you look at the picture right there, you can see how the, the, the hand is connected to the arm. That's where the problem was. Oh, wait. What am I doing? That goes up there. That goes right there. And that goes right there. And see what Mixamo would rotate it. And I have the gray background. It looks between the hand and the arm and sees a gap there and would give an error and say and it will tell you please attach all body parts so here we are it animated just fine you go to animations I think the name of that would just um I think it was jog for animations I think it was, was it this one yeah jog and circle or whatever animation you want. Click download, change FBX to a DAE, frames per second at 30, obviously with skin and no keyframe and download. So here we are in the downloads folder. You can see it downloaded. Right hand click, extract file, click OK. So there it is. And you can see it's got its texture and the DAE. So now you want to figure out what level you want to put it in. If it's a BeamMG level, just go to your BeamMG. These are the default levels in BeamMG. For example, let's say you wanted to put it in uh, Grid Map V2. Right hand click, open with WinRAR. Levels, Grid Map V2, Art, Shapes, Jog and Circle, Drag and Drop. Let's say you want to put it into a level that's not a BeamMG default level. 028, Mods, and Car Jump Arena. Let's shut that down. Right hand click, open with one R. Levels, Car Jump Arena, Art, Shapes, Jog and Circle, Drag and Drop. All right, so here we are in Grid Map V2. Let's go over here to the platform. Let's go down here to a flat area. Press F11. Go to your art folder. Shapes. 
oh sorry wrong folder grid map v2 art shapes and jog and circle there's your textures and there's your jog and circle so here we are in car jump arena you can see i got the uh, iron man mark one and that's this is from a previous video i made I think he's also, yeah, he's down there too. All right, let's go to F11. Let's speed our camera up. Let's go over here to this platform right here. Asset browser. Car jump arena. Shapes. Jog and circle. And drag it over there. And there he is. If, if, let's see. Go to Windows, Material, all right, there we go. Let's change this to something else. Let's make them a, if you upload your dummy, that looks pretty cool, looks like a skeleton. And his, his skin says no texture. If you go to your asset browser and you see that the texture is there, you can apply that texture manually by going to your material, click right there, and go to your dummy or whatever the animation was that you uploaded, shapes, jog and circle, texture, and then apply the texture and click OK. And you'll see it appears there and then appears on the dummy. Because somebody was telling me that they imported it and it had that default no texture appeared on the dummy well like I said if it, in your asset browser if it shows a texture here then you can apply it manually now if you just get the DAE with no texture file then you did something wrong but anyways here's the mark one again if you have any comments ideas or suggestions or questions about the dummy the animated dummy just leave them down in the comments and I'll uh, do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.